Mark? No way. Alex? You actually show up. How are you, bro? I'm good. Hey, guess what my New Year's resolution is? <laughs> not, not missing three weeks of school again, I guess. Well, it was just to eat healthier, but I got screwed out. That went to the list. Hey, we got six minutes till the first bell. You want to walk around? Sure. All right. Stupid door! Open! What is that? How's the hallway sweep going, Stanley? All clear. Wait, there's someone here, sir. I think he's run away. A code red? Check his tag and take him back to his room. Be careful. It's an hour old. Pass like that way. What are you doing here? What's going on? What, was there a gas leak? A, a, a fire? Where, where is everyone? Get up. You shouldn't be here. Get up. I, I didn't have anything to do with what happened. Like, I, I, I didn't do anything. Why, why are you doing this? Where where are you where are you taking me? Hi Alex, I'm Dr. Johnson, but you can call me Liz. You might be feeling a little drowsy, but that's only because we gave you some medicine to help you sleep. The drowsiness will be gone within the next hour. Medicine? Doctor? What are you talking about? I need to call my parents, because whatever, whatever's happening, I didn't consent to it. What is that? Some sort of experiment or something? I swear, I'm not a prodigy or anything. Alex, do you know where you are? S some sort of hospital, I guess. Can I get my things? I just need to call my parents. Okay, we'll get to that soon. How old are you? Seventeen. Alex, this is a criminal psych board. Do you know why you're here? <laughs> okay, very funny. I don't know what happened at school today, but I couldn't have hit my head that hard. You're 19 years old, Alex. You dropped out of high school three years ago and you were admitted here after the incident. You're insane. I'm, I'm 17 and I'm not answering any more of your questions. It's fine, Maya. The guards will take care of you. What's wrong? If he doesn't start cooperating, he's going to be transferred to a higher security unit. He won't survive a day there. You say that like Alex isn't a criminal himself. I mean, he did so much at such a young age. No wonder he runs away from his past. If I lose a patient again, I could get fired. There's no way I can fully fix him, but I can still help him. Lose a patient again? Right. I forgot you're pretty new. In 2013, I got my first patient. It doesn't matter. Patient X is kind of a sensitive topic around here, so I suggest you don't go around asking questions. Not everyone's going to be nice enough to answer. Okay, you can go help with the blue sectors. Um, they're the lowest level, so it should be a breeze. No, it's okay. Um, I'll help with the higher sections today. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, well, if you need any help, then you can ask Officer Jones. Make sure to lock up. I'm just locking up. Hey Liz. Hey, where were you yesterday? Tell me how Alex is connected to patient X. What? Where is this coming from? Were you looking through my files? Alex is a green sector. I need to know the dangers of working with him. So they were friends a few years back. Alex was jealous of Mark's life and 
He framed him for all his crimes. How did you let Alex run free for a year? Mark was a good kid, but he made some bad choices, so that gave Alex an upper hand. That makes no sense. Why would they wait until an innocent person goes to jail? According to the police, the anonymous caller was younger than 21, but they were at the same party as Mark. They didn't want their parents to find out, so they never told anyone what happened that night. But after the police did find out, they found out that Alex was guilty for way more crimes than he framed Mark for. Where's Mark now? I don't know. He's probably far from here. All I know is that all of the charges were dropped and he legally changed his name. Alex still hasn't accepted what's happened. The worst part is he doesn't even know what he's capable of.